There seems to be a buzz going around the air gun community at the moment, and it's not the latest gun from the latest company. It is a tiny little import from China, but it could make all the difference. and welcome to AAR on Air. Today I'm going to take a look at the pellets from QYS and try to find out what all the fuss is about. No, I'm not late to this particular party. I've had these QYS pellets for quite some time now and I have been using them in various guns and I've been testing them over that period of time simply to get a feel for them. And now it's time to take a closer look. Firstly, who are QYS? They are Chang Yuan Sports. I believe that's how you pronounce it. My apologies if I'm not exactly right. They have been around and servicing the Chinese market since 1994. So not what you would call a newcomer. They specialise in what they call elite air gun pellets basically have only three designs, flat, domed and pointed. Now, they were convinced with the quality of their product, so much so that they decided to use a competition platform to prove their capabilities. And the results? Well, they do speak for themselves. Over a 17-year period, they achieved 28 bronze medals, 35 silver medals and get this no fewer than 55 gold medals now that seems to prove their capabilities well in typical chinese business like manner they gained 95 percent of the chinese market and now they're expanding outwards around most of the rest of the world so i have a feeling you will be hearing a lot more from this manufacturer in the future there are only the three pellets in the lineup the domed, streamlined, and the new pointed. There are, of course, the flat nosed pellets, but they're not really suitable for 99% of air gunners out there. They're more aimed at the die hard, shorter range target shooters, so I won't be looking into those. The pointed are not available just yet but I will look at those when I'm able to get my hands on some. But I do have the domed and domed heavy, the streamlined and the streamlined heavy, all in two different head sizes, which are 4.49 and 4.5, making eight different ones in total. At this point, it's probably a good time to point out these are only made and available in 177 caliber or 4.5 millimeter there are no other calibers available and there doesn't seem to be any intention to produce any other calibers in the near future as far as i'm aware the tins they come in are screw top which i very much prefer and if half of the tins of pellets i've used over the years had come in screw tops it would have saved me a lot of time picking tipped up over pellets during that period. Let's take a closer look, shall we? The first thing you notice when you open up the tin is the colour, which is effectively the cleanliness of the pellets, which is down to the quality of the finish. This straight away fills you with some confidence and raises the expectations. Because there are a lot of people out there who spend hours washing cleaning and sorting pellets to get them to this standard. So QYS seem to have saved you the effort. <laughs> Let's compare them to a standard high quality tin of pellets. As you can see, when they're tipped out onto a clean sheet of paper, there is no residue at all and nothing left in the tin either. Do the same with another well-known brand and there is debris all over the pellets and left in the tin as well. 
The other thing you notice is the condition of the pellets. There are very few damaged ones, whereas it seems to be coming quite commonplace these days to open a tin only to find quite a high proportion of the pellets are showing skirt damage. It's quite evident they are concerned the pellets reach you in top condition. They even pack the tins into polystyrene packs to ensure the tins aren't damaged in transit. The next thing is the weigh-in. Again, some guys out there, and I have been guilty of this myself in the past, do weigh the pellets to help with the consistency of each shot. Now, whilst this may seem quite a lot of effort to go to, it does make a difference. Maybe only a small difference. But if you're target shooting at a serious level, then every gain, no matter how small, is worth that effort. And in practice, the QIS pellets are more consistent in their weights and have a smaller spread per tin. Again, confirming the attention to detail and focus on quality. Let's look a little closer at the two designs, shall we? The domed are exactly and consistently 7mm long and are 8.48 grains in standard form and 9.56 grains in heavy, which isn't particularly heavy and won't necessarily make a huge difference in a hunting environment by adding a lot more stopping power but I would consider that it's really designed to get a more balanced weight to the power of your gun and find that sweet spot around the FPS figures. Then there is the streamlined version, which is also exactly 7mm long, and they are again in standard weight at 8.48 grains or the heavier weighted version at 9.56 grains. There is a third weight, which is sort of mid-weight of both of these types of pellets at 8.95 grain. But these again are not currently available in the UK, mainly due to the low demand for this weight. So the importers don't bring them in. They are classed as domed and streamlined, but the actual difference is almost unrecognisable unless you get very very close, then you can simply see the head is slightly elongated by comparison to the domed version. So, I think it's safe to say production is of a high standard. Care is taken to keep them in good condition both in the tins they come in and the transportation packaging, and they are close tolerances for consistency. Now, the next test I had in mind was to take the pellets straight from the tin and see if they shot a tighter FPS string than another tin of pellets. So, I shot a 10 round string through a regulated gun with random 10.34 grain pellets and the spread was 13 feet per second. Then I shot a string of 10 domed 9.56 QIS and the spread was also 13 feet per second. Finally, I fired a string of 10 with the streamlined 9.56 grains, and the spread was 9 feet per second. Whilst this does seem to show a tighter spread with the streamlined, I would say the test was not wholly conclusive, to be fair. The next big question is, can you hit anything with them? Well, the only way to find this out is to get out on the range. Naturally, I've gone straight for my R10 FAC, which is about the most accurate gun I own, and whilst it doesn't like JSB Hades, it isn't overly pellet fussy after that. So, let's compare my usual pellet of choice, which is the 10.34 grain JSB, with the nearest weighted QYS at 9.56 grain. And I'll test both the domed and streamlined. Here goes. Right, let's get some testing done. I've got my R10 out, which is an FAC, firing somewhere around about 18 foot pounds. So slightly more, but all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get as flat as trajectory as I possibly can to try and get as much accuracy as I can. So we're down at 40 metres. Uh, I've actually got 
because there's a bit of a breeze going off I've actually got a wind meter here or BT meter whatever they want to call it bit of a breeze Whoa, here we go 5.6 JSB's first just starting to form one hole. I think we've just about proven the accuracy of this. Yep, that's its usual food which I know for a fact it likes. So we're going to change the target. Right we're loaded up with the cute white S's. Q's pronounced Ch, I believe. Ch Chang Wan. One of the problems is you shoot out your bull, then you lost your aim point. Now I've just got a hole to shoot through. Yeah, it gets difficult. That's all ten. Nothing wrong with those. The next ones are going to be the streamlined. The one thing you notice about these, which is really, really nice, is the clean and it's not just cleanliness as far as making sure they're that bit more accurate and everything else they're just nicer to use you don't feel as though you're getting your fingers covered in lead and residue it, it, they're just nice they're brighter it's a little bit like using some of the slugs you can buy cheap slugs but they're almost like wrapped in uh, like a grease. Um, this, this is one to ask the wife because I was there when my first one was born she was purple she was premature purple and, and wrapped in like a wax that came up when she came out and you almost get the feel of that from some of these um, some of these slugs these cheaper slugs. Now if you then pick some more expensive ones like the Wildman's or the FX they they feel quality and they're a much cleaner and nicer thing to use. These QYS are exactly the same. They're, they're slightly shiny. They're not as dull, uh, and they feel better. So I mean, just shot that. It's they're easily as accurate as the uh, 10.34 JSBs. I wouldn't say they were blindingly better, but the wind conditions obviously are affecting it. But they are really good. But they're nicer to use. It's bizarre. Don't ever turn around and call Chinese because that's what your iPhone is. Let's have another go. I just wish that wind would slow down. They feel really nice. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely adore the gun anyway it's, it, it is my favorite and you've probably not seen the video for this yet maybe you have 
Uh, I've recently changed the stock on this one to the thumb hole stock and it's, it, it is so comfortable to use. I love the gun. It's, it's doing it every time. Is it showing a massive difference between the 10.34 JSBs and the QYS pellets by the domed or the streamlined, which I've just shot? No, it's not showing a huge, huge difference because the gun is just so accurate. What it is, you get a feel for it. It's bizarre. When you're actually shooting them, you feel as though they're going exactly where you want them to go. Yes, you get the odd one thrown out because of the wind or you move or whatever, but they are bang on. What I'm going to try and do now, because the targets that I use have the single target, but they also have five on the back. So I'm going to try around now with five of each and see where they are so they're not just disappearing through the same hole. Let's see how we go with that, shall we? Right, I'm going to try for five. BSA's first, 10.34s. If anything, I pulled that one slightly. I mean, I'm no competition shooter. Ah, no, that was me. That was definitely, definitely me. What I'm going to try and do now, because that was pretty much unfair, I'm going to see if I can get a calmer bit. If it'll calm down, I'm going to take that one again. Okay, QYS domed, 9.56 out at 40 metres. We're going to do the five targets. What is it about that fifth one? That's better. <laughs> These are good. These are good. That was the domed. I'll load up the streamlines. Right, what's that all about? Really, really good quality and a, and a joy to use. So much so you just you, you want to try so hard to get them better and better. Thoroughly enjoyed those, thoroughly enjoyed them. Back to the studio. Well, I literally managed to get back in before the heavens opened on that one, but that was probably the most intense shooting I've ever done. I was starting to get a bit of a headache because I was focusing so much, trying so hard to get the best from all of these pellets. So I think in many ways that was pretty conclusive, certainly as far as the R10 is concerned. Now here is the major disclaimer. Just because they like the cold hammer forge barrel of my R10, it doesn't make them the perfect pellet for all guns. Naturally, I can't test them through every single gun. And even if I tried them in a dozen guns, which I probably have by now, to be fair, including modern rifles, more traditional rifles, pistols, all the guns that I've been testing over the last couple of months or so, it will still always be the case that I will get a comment, something along the lines of, well, you didn't test them in a left-handed stock classic Theoban from the late 90s. So I would strongly suggest you get hold of a tin or two and give them a try in your particular gun. After all, it's the wand that chooses the wizard. So it's the barrel that chooses the pellet, not you. As I've said, I have used them quite a lot in the past few weeks and months, and I can honestly say they are good, very good, and I personally will continue to use them, and they do seem to suit most guns, and the people that I've spoken to swear by them. Price-wise, well, they're basically the same price as a mainstream quality pellet by known manufacturers per tin of 500, maybe a fraction more, but when you consider the quality and care taken to make and send them halfway around the world, 
I don't consider them to be expensive. And your pellets are probably the most important thing about your entire setup to get it as accurate as possible. If you haven't tried them and you're unsure as to whether they would suit your gun, I would strongly recommend that you just simply get a tin or two and give them a go. Hopefully you've found this little look into these new QYS pellets interesting. If so, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, share and click the notification bell. Share your thoughts in the comments and on these platforms. Chat through with the guys at Airgun Factory. You can always join in on the AAR website and take a look at the merch. A big thank you to Vector Air for getting a hold of these pellets for me to review. And finally, a huge thank you to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to visit the new news channel for other snippets of information. And that's it from me today. So please stay safe and shoot safe. And I'll be here at 7am BST bright and early on Friday morning. Bye for now.